Chak, a Punjabi word, is the land revenue settlement, assessment circle marking a contiguous block of land. Now the individual chak circles have come to be associated with the name of the village founded within the revenue circle. Chak circles are based on the British Raj era revenue collection system. To enhance the government revenue during the British Raj, new canals were built to bring the Barana barren areas under cultivation by introducing the irrigation to the Bangar upland areas of Punjab region. Block of contiguous land irrigated by the specific Rajwaha were given a unique chalk number each. The migrant farmers were brought in to settle into those newly irrigated areas around the core of new villages which started out as Donis. Those new villages were called by the same name as their corresponding irrigation circle chalk number. Government left it to those residents to give chaks a proper village name later. In due time, the term chak became synonymous with the term village. Chaks are found mainly in the Bagar tract on the tri-junction of Haryana, Rajasthan and Punjab region. Chak, the administrative revenue assessment circle or division, is also called the chakla, which is not to be confused with the other types of chaklas. <laughs> Nomenclature The villages are named using a four-part British colonial era nomenclature. Chak number letters village name. Variations exist but usually names of chak have four parts. Chak prefix number a unique number for each village. Letter one or two letter which correspond to the code given to the specific source of water such as the Rajwaha irrigation channel. Village name settlements usually started out as the small donis which later evolved into the villages. The name of settlement is usually based on the name of villages founding Chowdhury, Gotra or Jathera. Examples of four-part nomenclature are Chak 106 JB Kitchen. JB denotes Jang Branch Canal. Chak 445 gigabytes Thagan Wali. GB denotes Gogara Branch Canal and Chak 354 WB Dunyapur. Examples of chalk names with first three components of the four-part nomenclature are chalk 152p p denotes the Panjainad River from which they draw water, chalk 128nb nb denotes North Branch Canal and chalk 21 megabytes. Examples of chalk names with first two components of the four-part nomenclature are chalk number 22. Examples of chalk names which now retain only the name of village are Chak Bahmanian named after Brahman caste, Chak Day Raj named after the founder, Chak Mai Das named after the founder, Chak Bilgan, Chak Guru, etc. Chak is an also a village in Danta Ramgar Tessel of the Sikhar district in Rajasthan, mainly populated by Pandits and Purohits. Chakbandi. Chak Bandi, Kekabandi or Kilabandi, Kilabandi in terms of land and revenue, is the process of land consolidation, and revenue settlement. Chak Bandi and settlement is done by the settlement officer with the help of Patwaris, Lambardars and earlier Zaildar now abolished. Chak Bandi, in terms of irrigation, means that each chak is irrigated by a branch water course, fed by a sluice channel in the bank of the main canal where the amount of water given to each chak farm owner is in proportion to the area of its chak. Block of contiguous land irrigated by the specific Rajwaha, also called irrigation circle, were given a unique chak number each. The chak kaka is also referred to as the chakla kakala which is different from the chakla belan for making roti or the chakla brothel. Land consolidation is a planned rationalization, readjustment, rearrangement of land parcels and their ownership to improve the rural infrastructure and to implement the developmental and environmental policies improving environmental sustainability and agriculture. For the Chakbandi, contour of village is surveyed, to determine the slope category and drainage profile of the village land in coordinal directions. The land is also evaluated based on its price and productivity. The land holdings of each farmer is consolidated in the standardized sized ket field plots of usually one acre each and then redistributed to the landlords in proportion to their earlier fragmented land holdings price and productivity. Each chalk must contain the same relative quantity of good, bad and indifferent soil. In some tariffs sides of a tract, almost every alternate field belongs to a different one of the four or five mouses villages contained in it. 
In others the patis fragmented portion of land are apportioned in long strips of land belonging to each of the different mouses, and then again subdivided on the same principle. Permanent settlement is the process of confirmation of landlords' property rights in the form of tenure or ownership and fixing a corresponding property tax to be paid by the landlords to the government, for using the public infrastructure, such as canal water for irrigation which results in higher crop yield. Terms related to chakbandi in the measurement of land in Punjab are, banjar, jungle, abadi, shamlet, ger mumkin, barana, nari, chahi, tal, biga, dobe, halris, khadr and banger, khazra, patwari, shajra, zaildar, etc. <laughs> Warabandi, barai and jarai Wara. Vara of vernacular Haryanvi, Punjabi word for the Hindi word, Bari. Bari simply means the turn. Warabandi Varabandi means the rotational system of a weekly roaster for equitable distribution of irrigation water to the individual chalk field of each farmer from a sluice outlet. Time allocated to each farmer to draw water from the sluice is proportional to the size of farmer's land holding. To optimize the system, once the wara of a farmer is over, the wara of next farmer in the sequence of contiguous land commences. Irrigators know their turn or wara in advance. For the fair distribution of water, warabandi takes into consideration barai and jarai. Barai, barai is the common pool time taken from the release of water from canal through sluice or upstream farmer and its arrival at the delivery point of the farmer whose wara has arrived. Jirai, jirai is the common pool time time it takes for the water to arrive applicable to the tail end last farmer on the sluice. <laughs> See also